Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are fans of the content being posted onto this channel to always be in the loop with more content similar to this and be sure to hit the video up with a like if you're enjoying the content and with that being said, let's begin. So with Resident Evil Village now officially in the history books, many fans within the Resident Evil community are seemingly begging the question as to what exactly Capcom can do going forward into Resident Evil 9 and more specifically there have been so many people talking and discussing and sharing theories on the overall overall idea that Resident Evil 9 is going to take place at least somewhere in Europe because Chris Redfield at the end of Resident Evil Village suggested that him and his team are going to go out to the BSAA headquarters and get down to the bottom of what the heck is going on. And it's incredibly interesting right now to get an idea that the BSAA organization is perhaps maybe the new umbrella in sending in these BOW clone soldiers into the village in which Chris and his team just so happen to have been on. As joining me here today to further tackle the subject of Resident Evil 9, implementing the idea of clones and the probable definitive end for the BSAA organization is my good friend and YouTuber Mark and I. Now Mark, there have been so many people that have been discussing and basically having conversations that Resident Evil 9 is going to be the end of the Winters family, which again, makes sense if Capcom is looking to basically turn this into a trilogy, and the first story had everything to do with Mia, the second story had everything to do with Ethan and Rose to an extent, and then it would only make sense for them to kind of cap off Resident Evil 9 with the definitive end of Rose's story, if that is going to be the direction. So my question to you and everyone listening is do you believe that the BSAA organization is going to play a huge role going into this upcoming game? Because of course we know that Capcom is working on the RE4 remake, they're working on Resident Evil 9 according to Dust Golem and many other Resident Evil games as a whole, right? So they're going to be entering a interesting phase to kind of cap off this story, which I do think that in terms of the Winters family, and perhaps even Chris, if that ends up going into a direction where Chris either sacrifices himself or does something different in the game where he allows Rose to live and we've basically touched basis on a similar subject before by talking about Rose and how her BOW powers can come of use in helping Chris but do you honestly believe that this upcoming game will feature a story around the BSAA organization or do you think that in your opinion Capcom is going to do something completely different and kind of not have anything involved or anything to do specifically with Chris and Rose's story because it is is possible for this to be a brand new game and a brand new story altogether, but I really doubt they're going to drop the current angle involving Rosemary Winters and of course Chris and finding out what may happen going forward. So is this going to be the end in terms of Resident Evil 9 telling the story of Mr. Redfield and the Winters family or do you think that perhaps this is going to be something entirely different that has nothing to do with Rose or Chris Redfield? I feel like this is a loaded question because there's not there's nothing that I can say that is going to necessarily be a reflection of exactly what I want and it certainly won't be a reflection of what other fans want. Now, this is what I will say. Regardless of where the plot goes, these are some things that I would like to have explored. Okay? So, if I if I remember the story of Resident Evil 7 correctly, after Ethan is at the Baker house, he deals with all that stuff. Um Chris, I believe, shows up to help him out, and I'm pretty sure Chris was a part of, or at least helping her in some way, was a part of Blue Umbrella, which was Umbrella Reborn, okay? So I, I'm pretty sure that's that's how that went. If that's the case, I would like to know more about what happened with Blue Umbrella. Why would they maintain Umbrella in the name if it's a completely different company? I'd want to know more about was a lot of Blue Umbrella, like were those members, the, the members that also got involved um, in the BSAA? Um, because the BSAA had also been around for for some time uh, up until the Resident Evil 5 event. I don't know if they, was, if they were around in Resident Evil 4, but I know that at least Chris and Sheva talked about the BSAA a lot. Chris was there representing them, um, and there were other members that were, were a part of that team, whatever. The point is that it's, it's, been, it's been around. So it seems like Blue Umbrella and the BSAA might have been two different entities, but they're connected in some way. Now, the BSAA is clearly doing shit that they're not supposed to be doing. And, and for Chris to be caught off guard on, on that front definitely makes that interesting. And they have to explore that. That storyline definitely has to be explored. I think it probably, most likely, will be the center of Resident Evil 9. 
And if I had to make a guess, Rose is going to be a part of that. I think Rose is probably going to come to some sort of revelation. She'll probably have to sacrifice herself. I mean, to know, at least in the story, that the father's storyline ends, then that to me suggests that the daughter's storyline will also end at some point. And since Capcom and others, and you mentioned this as well, have, have been pretty open about the idea that they are working on a trilogy, so seven, eight, and nine, that means that Rose probably isn't going to be a major part of the Resident Evil future as a character. Maybe they have her as something that is referenced. Maybe she's a catalyst for other things that happen. Those are things that I can definitely see happening. But she seems like this this next game is going to be hers and then she's going to be gone. And then the Winters family is out. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen to Mia, um, but Ethan is done. I hope he stays dead as well. He's a great character. I really liked him. I liked playing as him. I found him very compelling and interesting. But as someone who is just as much invested in storytelling as is the gameplay, I want to feel that emotional sense of loss with a character that I like, Ethan, being dead for good. I, it wouldn't surprise me if Chris Redfield stepped up to the plate as well and sacrificed himself as well. I mean, there comes a point where, yeah, you do have to retire all these characters, but I also did say uh, as well to one of your other questions that I don't want to be like alive in a world with Resident Evil where Chris is no longer a part of it. But there, that's just that's just me being a fan and being spoiled and, and wanting my cake and wanting to be able to eat it too type of thing. So if that's just how life has to be and Chris has to go, then, you know, whatever. Or if someone has to go and it ends up being Chris, that's just life, fine, whatever. Um, but I do think that the idea that the BSAA is using BOW is a very interesting point. Um, and I think because, uh, uh, Blue Umbrella has been around and they're they're doing stuff. I, I, I feel like it wouldn't be that surprising to me from what we've seen in other stories and other games and stuff that if they decided that they were going to say like, hey, like Umbrella never truly disbanded. They just sort of rebranded as Blue Umbrella so they could like continue their operations under a new image because it, it seems like, like you think about any business that does bad work. And I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but in America, when you screw up and you have a business, the best way to get out of it is just to change the name of your business and continue on like normal. That's just how it is. So if that's how it's gonna be, then that's what I expect. Umbrella is still doing nasty things, but they have a new name and they're trying to play nice and they're trying to look good in front of everyone. And it turns out that they're doing things with the BSAA and Chris is gonna find that out that, you know what, all that hard work, everything that we did to defeat Umbrella, it didn't actually finish it off like I thought. They're still doing stuff. And now that we have Rose, like they're even closer to that than ever. I think that could be a possibility. Maybe I'm wrong. That's okay. I'm not saying that it, it has to be that. I'm not saying as a fan, that's what I want to see the most. I'm just saying I could see that happening. And that wouldn't be a shock to me. Um, but I do feel like it's very possible that either Rose dies, sacrifices herself, or becomes a, a very significant member of like the stars veterans slash the BSAA or whatever organization they create after the fact. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if Chris died. I would like to see since we're um, moving into other directions now, I would like to see some other characters pop up. I would like to see Jill. I would like to see Leon and Ada. I would like to see other Resident Evil heroes like show up as well to kind of round this out because it seems odd to me that Ada partnered with Wesker, partnered with with others to do her own, you know, business. It seemed weird that Leon was caught in all this as well, and Jill was caught in all this as well, and they're just no longer a part of it. I feel like you kind of have to bring them in too. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna finish out Umbrella in some way, then you sort of need to have all the characters be able to kind of like wrap up nice and tidy as well. And Capcom knows what they're doing with the story, so I know they're gonna do it the right way. But I will be slightly disappointed if Leon doesn't get closure, if Ada doesn't closure, if Jill doesn't get closure, if these other characters don't get closure. Like, they they need that. Claire needs closure as well. I forgot her. I mentioned Jill, but I didn't mention Claire. Like, these are all things that I that I think about. And, like, I have a man crush on Leon. So I figure, you know what? Like, I want to see him come back as well. There's been too many Resident Evil games that are coming out without him. So that just needs to be a thing. But I, I figure that's it's ultimately Chris is going to see somebody infiltrated the BSAA. Umbrella is still doing some bad stuff and he's got to somehow make it right because it's his responsibility as this is his this is his organization with uh with with the others that helped create it but i'm very curious to see what happens i'm curious to see how how these particular bow's compare to the other ones we've seen in in the other games there's just so much that they can do with that 
And I think it would be fun to be in a different part of the world than we've ever been to before and like taking on soldiers that are now like zombies as well. I'd be very interested to see how that goes. Now see, what makes the potential of RE9 I think that much more interesting is possibly getting the final story involving Chris Redfield in Resident Evil. Now what I mean by this is Chris has been on this mission in getting down to the bottom of everything that was going on for quite some time, so I really wouldn't mind it if Chris either was written off to retire by the end of RE9 or even more shockingly enough if they were to write it off in Chris having to officially die in Resident Evil. Now eventually you're going to have to retire these characters and kind of move on and I know that the fandom is vehemently against that and to an extent I am too but at some point you have to move away from the older characters and introduce a newer generation of characters where people can get better accustomed to and better acquainted with. So my question is do you think that with everything going on this could be the end of Chris's story? Not to suggest that Leon will no longer be involved or Claire or Jill or whoever else because I firmly believe that they're doing their own thing and they shouldn't be involved in Chris's story because if this ties in with Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8 then it only makes sense for this to kind of cap off with Chris and then if you want to introduce Jill and Claire and Leon in Resident Evil 10, 11, 12, whatever, you can do that. But what are your thoughts on this being the definitive end of the Chris Redfield story? I will accept whatever the outcome is. Um, I'd rather not Chris die because I just like that. But I do feel like a story like this has to tug at your heartstrings a little bit. And so there has to be some give and take. I, I understand that as a fan, I have to sort of just accept whatever happens uh in the future i just really want to see chris come back but i feel like there's so many games that have done this before where they have a franchise that's based around certain characters they retire or they fake their own death or they're dead but they come back some other way and then they return to the fold as a character that is much older much more seasoned like there's something else uh going on that brings them out of retirement or that reveals that they didn't actually die that sort of thing and i can see that happening with chris i can see that being a total possibility. Um, I'm not saying that's the best way to do it. I'm not saying that there aren't better ways to do it. I'm not saying that there's uh, not more clever approaches to that topic and that subject. Um, I'm just saying like those are those are things that it would I would be welcome to if they were going to do it. Um, if Chris dies, okay, that's fine. Like I'd rather that not be the case, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw a fit. There are far more other characters um, that make. The franchise compelling there are far more other characters that i like and that i enjoy um and that i can get over it um i i mean i i don't feel like you have to have leon in here i think you brought up a good point i would be i would be okay if this was like if well i think we can assume for sure that resident evil 9 if it does have those characters in it like that's not they're not the center point out of three video games in a trilogy, you're probably not going to just shove Ada Wong and Leon and, and everybody else in there just because people like me want to see it. It probably won't make sense contextually, um, but they could. I don't know. It's, it's still possible they could do it. Um, but I think it's probably like you said, it's more likely, you know what, this isn't about them. This is about the Winters family um, and Chris a little bit, because while we did play as Chris in Resident Evil 8 for a while, Keep in mind, like, you know, we didn't play as him. And I think most fans who weren't privy to spoilers were surprised to see Chris Redfield show up at the end. I mean, we didn't really know exactly how the Baker family and how Ethan Winters was going to fit um, into the storyline uh, of the, the greater Resident Evil universe until the end. Or at least that's how I felt. I, I stayed away from any conversation and topics that would have spoiled it for me. So I was surprised when Chris showed up and I was like, whoa, that's pretty sweet. Whoa, Blue Umbrella, that's rad. Like, those were all surprises that I was... I was happy to experience the first time in game. So when it comes to Resident Evil 8, it's gonna be all about Rose. It's gonna be all about um, wrapping up the winter storyline. Maybe she stays around, maybe she doesn't. Um, but I do feel like Leon is not gonna be like a playable character. It could happen, but I, I'm not expecting that. So I'm okay with it. But I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to like a DLC or a spin-off or something um, or other that explored the here's what was going on at the same time as village um maybe leon is on a mission doing you know something else his own business or whatever with some other threat but i like the idea of it at least somehow having a connection to umbrella it'd be cool if leon was like maybe a member of the bsaa and
and maybe he worked for Chris and Chris sent him on a mission to go do something else like that would be cool and he was taking on some other uh, threat I don't know who knows I mean there's so many so many different ways that you take it like I mean think about this there could be a possibility that Resident Evil 9 has a storyline where it's like okay you play as Rose for the majority of the game but then there's like a sort of side quest mission where like Leon has been tasked to infiltrate like some facility to take out some of these armed personnel BOW soldiers or something like that's a possibility that could totally happen I'm not counting on it I don't expect that but that could be a thing and it could be done well and it could be fun but like I said you know it could be a hundred different things they could do with that storyline I don't know but but I'm I wouldn't I wouldn't complain I wouldn't complain if if they left Leon out of it completely I'm just saying like as a fan I, I miss the character I'd like to see him again and I hope that he's not an abandoned for too long because I want to return to that. But I, I I, think in full honesty, I am expecting, yes, it's going to be about Rose. Yes, it's going to be about the BSAA. Yes, it's going to be wrapping up the winter storyline all nice and tidy. But I just, I, I also fear like what, I mean, obviously like I don't work for Capcom, so I don't have all the answers. Surprise. But what more can you do? I think when we first saw the trailer for, for Village, like we were like, what the heck is this? This game looks crazy. There's like werewolves in this and like vampires and other stuff like this is totally nuts. Like, what is this all about? Like, I'm just so caught off guard and surprised by this. And then all of a sudden you see Chris Redfield and everyone cheers and it's like, holy crap. And then the village first few letters turn into the eight symbol. And I'm like, oh my God, like that, my heart exploded. Like that was just amazing. That was really cool, really clever. And I was very impressed by the marketing and advertising delivery of that. Very cool. So. Now that we've seen that zombies is not all what it's about, of sort of expanded plague virus, the the Les Plagas and the Ouroboros from four and five, and now that we've seen that it can become literally any monster of our nightmares, like what, what more could there be? I mean, the only thing I can really think of at this point is like, we have crazy technology that makes gaming these days like truly incredible. like. Village plays amazing on PlayStation 5. It's absolutely gorgeous on PC. So by the time we wrap it up with 9, like, could you imagine, like, where we're going to be at with technology at that point? Like, what sort of limits the consoles of the next generation are going to be, like, what limitations they're going to be hitting? And then after that, you've got, like, a whole new storyline with Resident Evil. Like, the gameplay also, like, sort of is, is half the experience. So, I don't know. These are, these are things that I think about. Like, I just started, like, rambling on, but, like, I just thinking out loud and all the thoughts just kind of fell out of my mouth but but you get what i'm saying i don't i don't know where you go i don't know where what you do but i'm open to any and all of it just because if village is the way that they're going to handle the future of resident evil then i have the utmost faith that capcom is going to deliver great stories great gameplay scares chills thrills and i just can't wait for more see i'm definitely excited to see what re9 could hold and i really doubt that we're going to see re9 anytime soon we're gonna probably see re9 maybe at some point during 2025 2026 2027 who knows but i think that there is so much potential going into a concept game like that at the same time i'm a little wary because i don't know how they're going to be able to kind of top off resident evil 7 we had lichens we had all sorts of diversified enemies and locations and it was a really fun game so in the comment section below do you guys think that perhaps maybe re9 is going to involve the bsaa headquarters in europe in having this be chris and maybe even rose's final story and just your overall prognostications going forward into what a possible resident evil 9 could be so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for your time if of course you guys are new and enjoyed give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below hit that subscribe button if you guys are new tune back in for more check out mark and channel i will also leave his link down below as well and we'll be seeing you all in the next video take it easy guys Peace.